Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I decided to do a couple of realistic portraits. I've been wanting to get more into that, and then I did my own in sort of a more realistic style. We're just gonna jump right into it. I started out with this guy in a trash can. Not much else to say. It's a guy in a trash can. Uh, this was actually pretty fun to draw. I, most, I was mostly... Uh, using the drawing as a reference but i did end up end up outlining a lot or all of the drawing and then using it as guidelines like a little under sketch because i could n just not get the proportions right um i'll probably be doing this for more realistic portraits with uh with on digital because it's easier and I don't want to spend a lot of time on them. But if I'm looking at it from a uh, traditional, like with paints, I would not be able to do the same thing. I could probably do something similar with a stencil, which I have done. But yeah, uh, this guy was super fun to draw. I have no idea who it is. He looks familiar. I just don't know who it is. Um, yeah. Don't know really uh, what else to say about that. Uh, I will say sorry for missing last week's video. Um, yeah, I got really busy. The last drawing that I did for this video, um, I was still working on on last Sunday that this video was supposed to come out. And I am now recording my voice lines the Saturday before the this is supposed to come out which was supposed to be a week ago if that makes sense which it probably doesn't yeah considering it's been it's spring break technically it's coming to an end uh i was busy i did not get a lot of time to just do a lot of art i'm i get it all at the end which, which is a bummer but Still, I do I did get to do a little bit of some digital art and some painting a little bit. That's probably gonna be next week's video because I did record it. Um, it's for a video that I've I teased like three videos ago, two videos ago. Um, it's taken a lot longer than I thought it would, and a lot longer than it should have, but. Anyway, unfortunately, spring break is coming to an end, so, and yet I'll have more time to do my own stuff because I'll have like a set plan. With spring break, I didn't really have a set plan. I was just told to do things. I had to help my mom with some work stuff, which I did, and every other free day I was cleaning up my art room because that really needed to be cleaned uh if you know how bad it was then you know <laughs> yeah but that's this drawing and that's my rant of today uh this guy was super fun to draw i really enjoyed drawing his shoes that was really fun to, for me for some reason not the face the face was a pain i thought it would be fun but the shoes were where I had the most enjoyment for some weird reason. I just really liked drawing the shoes. <laughs> for this second drawing, I immediately started with doing the sketch of the original photo and then to use as sort of guidelines. And for this one, I thought it'd be interesting to see if I could try to mix my own colors. Uh, I did not go through with that. Um, I was trying to see if I could do traditional stuff in, in digital form. It didn't work. I think I've tested it before and it didn't work either. So I don't know why I tried it. But this was fun. This one was really fun to draw. I really enjoyed this. The face, I mostly just wanted to do a face. And this person had like really nice shadows and really nice highlights. 
and I had like the most enjoyment I have in a long time for a portrait. And this was pretty quick to do. It like whipped by. The guy in the trash can t felt like it took a long time. Uh, it did, but it took less time than it did for this face. So I don't know. I like doing portraits of people. Faces are my happy place. I just sketch faces a lot. I, I like drawing expressions too. This one was sort of a neutral face. So it was a little, not really different, but and not really out of my comfort zone. I don't know where I'm going with this. Yeah, I do remember having a hard time with their lips and their eyes and the piercings. I don't know, it was just difficult to me. Also, I will say that I was doing most of the drawing or painting process on one layer just to like sort of be able to mix it together like acrylic paints or oil paints because I want to be able to translate some of the stuff I learned digital digitally into to traditionally because I actually really like painting traditionally it just doesn't work sometimes and the whole I want to make my spring break a goal of being able to figure out how I like to use my acrylics because how I want to use my acrylics is how I would most likely use oil paints um thanks Bob Ross <laughs> for teaching me to think like that I've never used oil paints I have a couple I'm scared to use them um so I did kind of use the oil paint technique in brackets for the traditional, the traditional, no, the digital paintings. And I had fun. Also their hair, really fun to do. Like the parting lines, that was really fun. And I just had, I just went messy with it. It kind of looks like a block, but I really don't mind that. And their shirt, pretty easy to do. I sort of did a rough job on that. I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to move on now. And I'm running out of time. But overall, this was really fun to do. And finally, the last painting, drawing, whatever you call it. The piece de resistance. I can't speak French. I totally messed that up. I'm so sorry to any French speaking people. Um, this was probably the funnest to do, especially the sketch. I really enjoyed it. This is one of my own characters. She's an angel. She's very pretty and she's also kind of creepy because I was also inspired a little bit by the biblically accurate angels. She does have a biblically accurate angel form. I didn't draw that. I drew her as a pretty lady. Um... I did completely draw this from scratch. I wasn't really using a reference. The only reference I had was unused and it's in my old sketchbook and it's a full body. It's not really a close up of her face. Um, this took a long time. While the other two drawings took about an hour 45, an hour 30 minutes to an hour 45 minutes, this took about three hours. Three hours I have spent like over like I can't even make up a number like hmm what's the like 13 hours I think one of them was for a realistic portrait when I was still learning how to do it. I've gotten a lot quicker and I like the messy style as well. The main objective for me is never to go smooth it's always to look sort of painterly i don't know i like painterly stuff i've been watching a lot of portrait painting shows the uh british this is british one but i was very inspired by one of the artists he actually won in the season we were watching me and my family and i was a little bit inspired by him because it's very messy his style and it's really cool. Um, so I brought this, that into 
sort of my style. While I was sort of working on the face, I kept going back and forth from what of what she looked like. At first she looked like White Diamond from Steven Universe. And then as I was drawing the eyes, I thought, huh, she looks like Sans from Undertale. <laughs> and I kind of went with that and added like some yellow in the eyes as well. That was really fun. It, I think it brings it together really well. She basically is just a mixture of Sans, White Diamond, there were like other people that I thought she looked like as well, but I don't remember them now. I think I was thinking of a uh, certain elf from Lord of the Rings. I don't remember her name. Not Galadriel. But yeah. The gradient on her hair was really hard to do. She has a fade from black to white. That was almost impossible to do. Not almost, but yeah. And I did struggle with her braids. Her hair kind of looks like a big blob, but I kind of don't mind it. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Uh, her halo came out awesome. Her eyelashes on point. Her w w ear wing things could be better, but I'm not mad about them. Overall, if I had to rate this drawing, I'd give it a 9 out of 10, minus the point on the hair. And the background is kind of boring, but I think the back backgrounds just look good, okay? It looks, it looks, just looks good to me. And this is how they have come out. I'm very, very proud of them. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing some more portrait stuff in the future, whether it's some traditional stuff, whether it's more digital. Um, if you like this video, please consider uh, liking it. And if you would like to see more, please consider subscribing. It would really help me out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.